Good morning, y'all. Oh, I just turned my car on. It's like 8.35, I would go with. Happy, did I just say happy Friday? Oh, I worked out. I'm not so sweaty anymore. I'm gonna get a coffee today. So I haven't had a coffee in, it's been a while. Um, but I feel like, I feel good. I feel like today could be a good coffee day. Um, so I'm just gonna run up to Yellowhammer right there. The truck is right there. And then I need a shower. I was supposed to get, so I ordered from Avenue, I mentioned in last week's vlog. And it's just like taking such a long time to get here, it feels like. So it was supposed to be here. Okay, so today's Friday. It was supposed to be here on Wednesday and Thursday. And now it just says it's stuck in Georgia. So um, that was gonna be my video for tomorrow. I don't really know what to do. So I think um, I'm just gonna lay low, get some like behind the scenes work done. I know that you can hear that jittering. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna get my coffee. Happy Friday. Okay, first coffee in, I think last Tuesday was the last time that I had a coffee, whether it was at home or like Starbucks or Yellowhammer. So I feel like I'm about to be wired for the day. And y'all know I already have a lot of energy. So just, here we go. I get an ice blondie, no whip. Oh man, I don't know why I'm doing a taste test. Y'all know I like Yellowhammer coffee. All right, home, shower. The electrician's coming at 2.30. I don't even think I told y'all here on the vlog. Brian put in a new fan in my filming room with a light in it and it worked for a little while like the same day it broke um and he has like changed out the switch he's like reinstalled the fan like all sorts of things and the power to everywhere else in the room works except for the fan and he can't figure out why so the electrician the a company i don't know these people uh they're coming today at 2 30 to take a look at it so I think I'm gonna have my mom, just because I'm gonna be by myself, I don't know. Does anybody else do that? Um, if Brian were home, that'd be fine, but I think I'm just gonna have my mom come over and sit with me just so that I'm not by myself. Um, but there's also this place, okay, I'm gonna try to talk her into it, or my sister, somebody. So there's this place in town called Charles Phillips Antiques, and it is known for having the most gorgeous antique furniture. It's pricey, but I've always wanted to go, but they're only open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So Brian's only off on Sundays and Mondays, so we don't, we've never been. And so I follow a photographer on Instagram who lives in Mobile and she buys the nicest, like she just bought some end tables, the nicest things. And it like, God, it just, it looks so nice. I don't, I don't need anything. So I think I'm going to see if my mom wants to have lunch and just like browse, like just go walk around and see if it's worth like Brian and I going back or if, like if we need anything. I wanna get away from, like we have the very matchy matchy furniture and I wanna kinda get away from that. So I think like the nightstands almost I want, but like chunky mini dressers or chest of drawers, but as nightstands, you know what I mean? I wanna do something like that. Plus we're going to tear out a wall pretty soon for the living room to kitchen so we can have like a more open plan and instead of just leaving a side of that open I want to put some like antique French doors like put glass in them and so I want to just go and see if they have anything that's worth it so if I do something like that I'll show you uh, but anyway I'm just keeping you up to date on the plans that no one asked for I'm gonna drink my coffee now I'm gonna take a shower and happy Friday. How many times am I going to say that today? I'm glad it's Friday. This week has just been rough a little bit. So, yeah, I'm just happy it's Friday. Y'all, my GPS tells me that I've arrived. I'm at Charles Phillips Antiques, by the way. But let me show you. Am I at somebody's house? So this is what I'm looking at. Online, it said it's like eight buildings. Um, I think that blue sign up there is telling me which way to go. Um, if it's somebody's house, we're definitely not getting out. But everybody talks about it. Like, it's such a cool thing. So, 
let's just check it out. Okay, so this says Charles Phillips Antiques open 9.30 to 5. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Do I, do I just park and walk in these things? Maybe there's some other cars or something. Because, okay, I see cars. I see cars, okay, okay. We're gonna go where all the other cars are. Oh yeah, okay, I see a lot of people. Well, not a lot of people. Oh, the doors. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let me show you. Look at all the doors. That's exactly what I need. What am I doing with my life? Don't let me buy anything. Do not let me buy anything, but that's, I need doors. What did I say that I needed doors? And then I guess that's where you go in is, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I'm excited now. I think it's all these, okay, there's really no parking. So we're just gonna pull over somewhere. Like there's not a parking lot. Everyone's just kind of stuck somewhere that they can fit. Okay, so I think it's all these buildings that you can walk through. This is so cool. Also, I straightened my hair today. Like Taryn was straight hair. Is Sorry. Taryn with straight hair is a different Taryn. I feel so much younger for some reason. It will always flip out there. No matter how much I straighten it to go under, it will always do that. But anyway, okay, I'm very excited. Let's go in again. Don't let me buy anything. Yeah, that coffee did me dirty. I feel a little bit shaky. Okay, it looks like the buildings are numbered. So that makes it easier. So here's how pricing works. Read the D, find the D and read the numbers backwards. Okay, like this table, 165. How gorgeous are these doors? Look how tall they are. I can't even show you, hold on. There we go. So pretty. They have a ton of tall ones. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna say oh my gosh the whole time because th look at those. Just for fun, that one door is $2,200. What is this? Does anyone know? Does it actually turn? <gasps> it does. Tell me if you know what this is. I have no idea. Hi. My goodness. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look how cool these two benches are. This one says circa 1860s. So D385 would be the price. That would be so cute for an entryway bench. And this one's just cool with the green. See, this would be really cool. Add some glass to it and you've got your doors. So that could be nice. They're two 25 a piece, but I do like that a lot. This green piece would be a cute, like if you didn't have a huge kitchen, but you wanted like something cool like an island, this would be a cool piece to stick in there. We have a lot of these Hungarian egg trays. If you needed like, you wanted to do a cool project or something, then you could get these. I don't know, they're cool. I don't have any projects in mind, but they're just really cool. I don't even know what to do if you like something. Do you just like take the tag off and take it with you? I could probably like Google and call them. You're like, I'm in building whatever. Um, these bowls are neat as well. There's no one here. I guess maybe all the cars are workers. Okay, what are all these? Pitchforks, like wooden pitchforks, again. A project if you needed some stuff. Are these like shovels, like old school shovels. Paddles, it kind of looks like. World War II naval charts, 20 bucks each. Wow. I've seen several of these with the gray base and with the white base. So it seems like it's a remake. Okay, round end table made from 1880s French spindles and top is 1870s wood. That's cool. 
Yeah, so I've seen them with the white base too. Building six is a little bit different. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be in here. Maybe these are sold pieces. Maybe they make pieces. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this is like a storage. Cause clearly it smells like wood. Like these are new construction pieces. Maybe they do like refurbish, not refurbish, but build and like make them antique. I think they do. Okay, we're gonna move on. See all that like fresh wood back there? But they do have some things. Ooh, look at that cool table. Okay, we're gonna move out of six. I went a little backwards. I went one, eight, seven, six, I think. So I think we need to find number five. I feel like I missed a building. I went down, I feel like I didn't find number five. But there are so many people here now, it's hot outside. And it's all outside, but they do have fans and stuff. Okay. This is such a cool spot. If you live in this area and you've never been, like me, it's so cool. There's so much stuff that I could come again tomorrow and see new things that I didn't see. Like it is packed in there. If you need like really cool, like different things, this is the place for it. I didn't buy anything. Go me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think when we're ready to do, to take that wall out and we need, sorry if, if the air is, it's loud, but it is so hot. Um, when we're ready to do the doors from the foyer into the dining room, we'll come here because this is such a cool spot. And those doors, I'm sure I showed you the price. Were they like 125 a piece? I feel like that sounds about right. Um, which then we would have to take them and put like glass in them and get them cleaned and all that stuff. But still, that's, this is such a cool place. Brian would love this place. So maybe the next time he's off on a Saturday, we'll come and look because it's just cool. Okay, I'm gonna go get food now. It's like almost 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna get something for lunch. And then the electrician guy's coming later. I need to be home for that. I need to remember that. In my head, someone's coming, Tara, and you have to be at home. Um, I'm at a new place now. I have, it's only been like 10 minutes. I was talking to my mom on the phone leaving Charles Phillips Antiques and she said her friend Dimple was telling her about this place called Trinkets and Treasures, which was only like three miles from where I was. So I'm here now. Um, her friend was like, you're gonna be hooked as soon as you walk in. It says it's unique, yeah, unique gift shop, but they call it a secondhand resale shop. So it doesn't look like, like it's definitely not antiques doesn't look like it anyways like it like the last place where I was so again I don't need anything but we're gonna go in I'm gonna wear a mask inside this one because it's a inside place the other one was so spread out that I didn't even see anybody in the same buildings as me so anyway okay let's go see what they got here okay let's start on this side they have music playing, so I can't I can't let you listen for a long time. Okay, I'm home. You're in a cabinet. It's like two, it's like two o'clock. I met my sister, my brother-in-law, and one of their kids for lunch. So I wanna show you, cause the last thing you saw was me put something in my car. So I ended up grabbing a couple things from that trinkets and treasures place. This is so pretty. I want to put like a big fat candle in it. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but I just thought this was really pretty. And the woman, I'm pretty sure she owned the shop so that a lot of people are buying these and putting a bulb here and hanging it as like a light fixture, chandelier-ish type thing. It, is, it was 29 bucks. So I got this and then I also ended up grabbing this. It actually matches perfect. I probably won't put them next to each other. Uh, they call this a small wooden window. It was 19 bucks. They had all sizes and I almost got, they had two big ones that matched and I thought, where am I gonna put those? But I thought this is a pretty easy size. So I'm thinking I wanna put it on the mantle and like lean it up against the wall. I'm not exactly sure yet. 
but that's what I bought from that place. Uh, it's like I said, it's like 210. So the electrician's going to be here 230. I'll show you the fan that needs help. I put on sunblock and I feel like my cheeks got sunburned still. I guess I'm just walking outside at that Charles Phillips antique place. Okay. Let me show you the fan. And then I need to just like <laughs> straighten up a little bit. So here we go. Bought a new fan, put it in, it worked that day, and then kind of all of a sudden just quit working. So hopefully, like Brian took it down, reinstalled it, still didn't work, and then he even replaced the inside of this and still nothing. So hopefully, it's a pretty easy fix. Um, but I'm just going to straighten up just a little bit in here so it's like easy access in case he needs to bring in... I'm sure he'll need to bring in a ladder. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hi. And then I'll show you, hopefully, in a minute, it'll be working and that's the next clip you'll see. And we have light and a fan. Oh, oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Y'all do not even know. Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Skincare done. It's 6.40, 6.35, 6.40. So I'm headed to Bella Rose today. So I'm up a little bit early. Got my fake tan on. Well, not my face. From like my neck to here and my arms and then my legs. <laughs> That's all that I fake tan. Unless like I'm doing swimsuits or something. Um, so I'm just sitting outside with Cash for a minute, letting her go to the bathroom. So yeah, I'm about to get ready and head over to Gulfport. I haven't shot with Bella Rose and it's, I feel like it's been a more than a month. The last time we shot was, we went to that parking garage. So today should be fun. We're shooting at the warehouse. So that's nice, which means it won't be outside. <laughs> so it won't be so hot and humid, uh, but that's the plan for today. So I'm going to go make coffee, maybe some oatmeal and start getting ready. So the next time you see me, I'll be in the car with makeup on and my hair fixed. And we're back. So it is probably 7.55. Obviously, I'm in my car. I'm driving. I'm perfect timing. Um, I just need to, well, once I get there, I'll brush my hair out um, and then spray hairspray. I did buy that Amica Anti-Humidity Shield Spray, I think is what it's called. That stuff is the real deal. I I used it for the first time. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in a vlog maybe a month or so ago uh kim who works at chic soul had some and let me borrow it when i was there shooting we were shooting outside and it really did help tame the frizz and when i get hot and it's hot outside my hair just kind of expands a little bit and so it definitely helped with that so i'll spray that once i get there even though we are shooting inside i still get sweaty you know what i mean and i want my hair to stay where it's supposed to stay. Also, I'm not happy to admit that I've relapsed on chapstick. I think I've used it two or three times over the past probably three days. Um, I don't carry it in my purse. So there's one in my nightstand next to my bed and I used it one night and it felt so good. <laughs> that like burn tingle and I was like oh my gosh I'm missing out I think I've used it two more times since then but like I really want to use it this morning but I don't have one with me so I feel like that's the way to go just don't don't carry it I do have that um what is it the Vaseline lip therapy I think in my purse so I'll probably put some of that on but the lip gloss or lipstick lip gloss that I have that I use for shoots now is actually really moisturizing and doesn't like it sometimes if my lips are dry then it shows through in whatever product I'm using on my lips but that it doesn't um, it's the bare minerals some kind of gloss I'll link it down below the color is love I'm pretty sure so uh, but that one is a nice like neutral color for me like pinky neutral more of like a mauve neutral and it doesn't like show the dryness in my lips so I like that one all right I'm gonna quit rambling because I want oh I forgot my charger dang it now I can't listen to a podcast I wonder if I can stop at the gas station and buy one real quick just to leave in my car okay update I got a charger I didn't need this but I was just trying to get out of there 
Um, so this is what I really needed, $6.99. And I did buy this, but I don't need it. But I bet my mom could use it. Um, yeah, I bet my mom could use it. So again, I'm in a hurry, so I need to go. Anyway, but I got what I needed at this gas station. Hello. Hello. And we're done. I know it was just a split second for you, but for me, it's been a long time. Um, so hair's up, you know the drill. My makeup still looks pretty good. We shot inside all day today, so my hair looked good the whole time. I mean, I got a little bit warm because we did some fall things, but for the most part, we're good. I'm starving, so I think I'm gonna run. I just slapped my leg with my hand. Um, I think I'm gonna run and get me. There's a Chick-fil-A around the corner. I know there's a McDonald's and a Sonic right there. But I know there's also a Chick-fil-A, like right around the corner. So I think I'm gonna go grab food. I'm so hungry that I'm just gonna eat. I'm gonna get chicken nuggets and I'm gonna eat them in the car with the Diet Coke because I'm I'm so hungry. Um, and then for the rest of the day, I need to go home. I got some Walmart, like free assembly brand things from Walmart for a video. And they sent them in like separate packages. So I have like six packages all from Walmart at home. I need to go through them and see if I have everything. Um, if I do, have everything then I can go ahead and steam it plan it out and we'll film that tomorrow but food home I'm gonna do fried pork chops for dinner I think so I'll see you at dinner Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Say hi. Say hi. Uh, I'm going to go get a coffee from Yellowhammer. They're up the street today. I, okay, so my plan today, we know I talked about that free assembly stuff, which by the way, is super nice from Walmart. Um, so what I'm going to do instead, I try to limit the number of days that I put heat on my hair every week and so I just did it yesterday like quite a bit like touch-ups and everything for that photo shoot so I'm gonna hold off on today because I have another package coming a little bit later in the week that I'm gonna film for too so I'm gonna just kill two birds with one stone with those videos so that I'm not putting so much heat on my hair so what I'm gonna do instead is go get a coffee number one and then I'm gonna go ahead and do all my laundry um maybe do some like grocery shopping like that sort of stuff sort of stuff today so that's the plan and you get to watch this tomorrow so at some point i need to edit you as well how are you this morning hey good good what you getting can i do a large iced blondie please with a large iced blondie you yeah. on no thank you yeah. that coffee i've drank half of it i'm looking at it it's on the uh counter right there i am wired also that's our tiny air purifier you've seen the big one in the living room I cannot express to you how much it has improved my allergies. I don't know why I'm doing like that. Uh, huge, huge difference. They're expensive. I think the big one in the living room is like, was like 200 bucks and that one was like 89. Um, but if you have bad allergies, okay, I'm not going to tell you because I'd hate for you to spend all that money and then it doesn't work for you. But my allergies had gotten so bad because the dog sheds, I've, you know, Layla has long hair, she sheds, and it had just gotten to a point where like I couldn't breathe at night. I was all stopped up, but then also like runny nose at the same time. And then probably like a year ago or so we bought those, maybe even a yeah, probably like a year ago from a recommendation. My friend Jessica said she had them, loved them, highly recommend. I'll find them and link them down below if you're interested. Okay, I just 
threw out all the laundry. I'm gonna fold it. Nope, it's not washed. I'm gonna put it in the washing machine. like a fly sitting right here and I swatted it trying to like get it to fly away and I hit it like I, I actually caught the fly with my I mean it's dead so I need to wash my hands but I'm gonna end this video because I need to clean I'm gonna clean the litter box um, laundry's in you saw that oh my knee I can't be squatting down that time I sprained my knee do you remember that in a parking lot of a restaurant anyway Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. I don't wanna close my hand. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. This is my real life. Here you go, I'm cleaning toilets. Um, and I'll see y'all in my next one, bye.